The Logitech Litra Beam and Litra Glow lights have a new feature, and it's actually a pretty handy one. Anytime you activate your camera, you can configure your light to turn on automatically. Then when you're done, it can turn itself back off automatically as well. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I'll walk through how to get this to work and what configuration options are available. If you'd like to see my full review of both lights or purchase one for yourself, you can find that linked in the description below. To get it set up, you first need to install the LogiTune app. I'll provide a link in the description or you can simply Google LogiTune to find the download page. Once you have the app installed and your light is connected via USB to your computer, open the app and select your light. Once there, select Smart Activation. Enable it and you're good to go. Within the LogiTune app, you'll notice that there are a few different options for configuration. First, you can enable smart activation on any camera or specify a specific one. If you have an integrated webcam and a dedicated camera, for example, you can choose just the applicable one where you need that extra bit of light. Next, by default, the light will turn on when your camera turns on and turn off when your camera turns off. By selecting disable auto power off, your light will remain on after your camera turns off. Last but not least, you can set a specific schedule. You can either use sunrise and sunset or a specific time range when smart activation should occur. This way, if you have ample light during certain times of the day, your light will stay off and it will only activate when it's really needed. Overall, I think this update is great and provides a way to save you the hassle of reaching for your light or fumbling through software to turn your light on and off every time you hop on a video call. In the future, I'd love to see the ability to set a standard temperature and brightness to work with smart activation rather than just utilizing it however it was set most recently. Even better, allow for multiple time frames with different light settings. For example, maybe you need the light on at all times, but you want it to be brighter at night when there's less ambient light. Or maybe you want it to show cooler in the morning and warmer in the evening. That type of flexibility would be very cool to see. What do you think of this new feature and what future improvements would you like to see added? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, consider a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.